for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a offense for you guys today out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook. This is an ebook that I just put out. If you guys don't know, I've got about three or four ebooks out by now. I think it's more like five, actually, if I include my custom playbook. But all that stuff's linked in the description below. The offense I'm going to show you today, though, I'm not sure if it's in any other playbook. I haven't looked yet. I know the Ravens is loaded with rare formations and rare plays that you really can't find anywhere else. So it really wouldn't surprise me if this is only in the Ravens. But I'll try to put in the description how many playbooks this is in. The offense itself is the normal Y off close. This offense will work on current gen and next gen, although there's a slightly different way to home run cover three. But other than that, this offense is going to home run every single defense in the game. If you guys want to see more out of the Ravens playbook, hit the like button let me know in the comment section as always. Now, as far as what plays you use what plays for, it's really simple. It's very easy to remember. The y, the y stick dig is your cover two man or cover two zone. Anything cover two, the Y stick dig will be a one play touchdown. That includes cover six, cover nine, Nine. coverages like that where half the coverage is a cover two you just have to isolate which side it is and run against that your double slants a cover three won't play touchdowns also a very good play against cover one man but i'm going to call it just a cover three won't play touchdown whether you're going against current gen or or, or next gen you know consoles whether against current gen or next gen consoles, this is a one play touchdown against cover three, but it has a very different setup depending on which console you're on, which I will go over later in the video. Then escape is a cover four one play touchdown, whether it's cover four palms, cover four quarters, or cover four drop regular. This is a one play touchdown against all three. So you have a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in these three plays. If I were to show a fourth play, and I'm not sure if I will, I'll probably have extra plays on my Patreon or my join out community tab. The mesh spot would definitely be on there. We're gonna start off with cover two like we always do we're gonna go with the Y stick dig and as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors AOEAH.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and use my discount code money to get 3% off it's already the cheapest coins on the market now as always you're gonna to try to run these plays from the hash mark to the open side of the field it's just gonna be best practice it's not hundred percent necessary but it's going to be helpful against cover two this motion here is going to be the most consistent. I'm going to make this motion with a couple different plays, so it shouldn't stand out too much to your opponent. I'm going to motion him in. I'm going to put him on the street. That's all I really got to do. And this wire out here is just going to completely destroy this outside. Now, I don't really have my fastest guy. I could have Hollywood Brown out here running this. Obviously, that would be even easier. But you can see, even with a decent speed guy like DeVerne, it's just it's just super seriously easy in, in a one-play touchdown against cover, too. If I really want to, I could also put my A around the drag, give myself a little bit of a check down. This would probably be the ideal setup, block the running back. Although the play gets going so instantly, it's like I don't even have to do all that extra dressing. I mean, this is just something that just busts out in the open uh, really quickly. So a very easy play against cover two. But don't look now, this play is also a very good play against cover two man, which typically isn't the case. Let's go on this pick cover two man. Now we're going to go, we're going to do the exact same setup. We're going to put this guy on a streak here. Block my running back one more time, put my around the drag. Like I said, this is best practice. You're going to see, you get a very favorable animation, even though I have one of the best safeties in the game, one of the best man coverage safeties in the game, in Tyron Matthew covering DeVerne, a very poor receiver. Like I said, exact same setup, whether you're running against cover two man, cover two zone, doesn't matter. The Y route just doesn't really get jammed, and he just gets outside here, above the safety even on this particular play. You can see right there, we do get caught that time, but you can see how explosive this is. We're going to do that one time against a uh, dime, so we can have a cornerback doing that just to show you guys it's gonna be the same result like i said i'm only motioning this guy to put him on the street because i really want that uh that safety to get get pulled back as much as possible but you can see same thing he does not get jammed and because of that he just gets outside and gets a very easy one play touchdown an even easier one because honestly tyron matthews probably a better cornerback than the fourth cornerback on the on anybody's team really so you can see how that play is glitching out uh you know so you can see how glitchy the first play is against cover two. How about cover three? Next play we're gonna have is the double slant. Like I said, this is going to work whether it's current gen or next gen. It's just a very different setup. We're gonna start off with current gen because that's what we're on right now. This is another play where you're gonna run it, wanna run it from the uh, hash mark to the open side of the field, but it's to the other side this time. And you're gonna make a unique motion here. This is the only time on, on you're gonna make this motion. You're gonna motion out this tight end. I'm gonna motion out that tight end. I'm gonna put the B route here on streak or fade once again. I don't think it really matters, but you're gonna see number one one, these, this cornerback is well out of position and 
the fact that these two zones are right next to each other, I think they just get really crossed up in communication. As you can see, right off the line, we got uh, Mark or Hollywood Brown just speeding right up the streak. And if you watch the cornerback, we'll go to the replay. If you watch the cornerback, I don't know what happens there, but he just, like I said, I, I really think it's because these two zones are so close to each other pre-snap, they don't know what to, how to communicate with one another because they just both end up on an island instantly in the wrong direction. I mean, this is, you know, this is a cover through one play touchdown eight yards down the field. You know what I mean? Like he's instantly gone as the second he gets off the line because this corner, these cornerbacks just kind of bug out. And I could throw the ball right now. I could bullet pass lead right now outside. And with this speed, I'm gone for an easy one play touchdown from anywhere on the field. We'll try to do that actually. We'll actually, we're gonna try to throw the ball uh, as quick as possible to see how quickly we can throw this ball and get a one-play touchdown because this is something that's just, you know, look at that, boom, we're out, ball's out, nobody's in my area. I still find it's best probably to hold it as long as possible um, to get that explosive animation because you never know, your opponent could, could take a better angle than a computer online. But you can see how explosive this is. I mean, this is very easy. If this is any, you know, if it's a man coverage, a lot of times cover threes look like man cover ones. The slants are obviously going to beat that, so just keep that in mind. But like I said, I like to throw it as late as possible. You can see how that safety definitely catches up, though, the longer the ball's in the air. So it's really up to you when you want to throw it. But it's a one-play touchdown from anywhere. Now, there is only one difference when it comes to current gen compared to next gen, and that's the cover three one-play touchdown. So for that, we're going to go with the double slant. It's still the same, you know, cover three. It's easy to remember, but the double Double slant's different on how it beats cover three. So let's go and let's pick the double slant. The only thing you really gotta remember is you gotta run this from a hash mark uh, to the open side of the field. Like right here, I'm on the right hash mark, running it to the open side of the field. You gotta make that same motion in that we made in a lot of plays. And then you gotta put this X route on a streak or a fade. I find the fade is a little bit better. Sometimes I feel like the fade just avoids um, getting zone chucked a little bit more. Uh, then I'm going to block the running back, although that's not really critical. I just want extra blocking. All I really have to do then, I'm going to slide my protection to the left a little bit because I find it's going to be best for the pass lead to roll in this direction. And then you can see here, uh, you, you know, once again, there's there's an issue. I've explained this all the time when it comes to uh, cover through one play touchdowns on current gen consoles. They're very different. Now, there's a couple things that you have to watch for when you do this. Number one, you have to watch this cornerback which on this particular play and most cover three one play touchdowns that I've put out like this on current gen, they all do the same thing. Essentially this cornerback here will eventually stop. The point of that is, I mean, the real reason that they're stopping has something to do with this crossing route. Uh, like they're supposed to take that crossing route on, although realistically, he doesn't do anything. He just stops completely uh, on this play. So like I said, super glitchy formation. But ultimately, uh, this particular play, once that cornerback stops, you bullet and pass lead away from the free safety. Now there's a couple more things you gotta do. Number one, for whatever reason you have to wait for this receiver to pass about 33 yards maybe 30 yards i'm not exactly sure maybe 31 yards because there's some weird glitch in this game where you can only pass lead before 20 yards and after i think 31 i'm not really sure the exact number but to be safe it's close it's better to throw it like 35 yards that's the rule of thumb that a lot of people have been going by but ultimately i'll show you that in a second how it does not let you pass lead if you throw it too early but if you make that pass lead outside you can see it's a very easy touchdown one play touchdown against cover three on, on current gen so I'll run that again, and I'll run it, um, I'll throw the pass lead before he reaches 30 yards, just to show you guys uh, what I'm talking about, how it does not does not let you pass lead. Basically, it just throws it right up the center there. So it's a very timing-based play, but it's very easy to do. As long as you follow the, the timing rules, um, you know, it's it's not very hard to, to hit this one-play touchdown. I've actually been doing this since last year. As you can see right here, once again, throw the ball a little bit early, but there didn't even matter. I threw the ball early, didn't get the pass lead, but it still was a one-play touchdown to Sammy Watkins, who isn't even, if I had, you know, if I had Brown running that, Marcus Brown running that, uh, Hollywood Brown running that, it'd be even easier. But you can see, I mean, even without the pass lead, it still kind of gets there. So there we go, once again, like I said, that's, once again, pass lead was non-existent because that's through early, but it's still a one-play touchdown. So very easy play, probably one of the easiest one-play touchdowns in current jam when it comes to cover three. So now we got cover two, we got cover three. How about cover four? There's two types of main cover fours. I'm gonna go over um, the actual cover four uh, drop real quick, although I, I picked the wrong formation there. We're gonna go over cover four drop contain first. It's another play where you're gonna run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field. This is a very unique one-play touchdown I'm about to show you guys. Typically cover fours have to isolate with like the B 
B-Route's doing. You know what I mean? Like, cover four one-play touchdowns. I'll go ahead and I'll emulate uh, a cover four one-play touchdown. Like, this is typically a cover four one-play touchdown, something like this, although the B-Route's not really that route. But this is typically the type of route that you have to hit a one-play touchdown against cover four. You have to typically wait for that B-Route to cross the, you know, cross, split through the safeties and all kind of stuff. Although you can see right there, it didn't work out because of the pass pro. I'm pretty sure, the reason I'm showing this is because I'm pretty sure you can do this. Although, I, I haven't done this. This is not the one-play touchdown I plan on showing you guys. But let's go and let's do this again. Like I said, the B-route there, all I have to do is buy a lot of time. And that B-route will eventually cross uh, and make a play. Like you can see right here, it didn't work out. So, like I said, that's your typical one-play touchdown against cover four. That's not the plan today. Today's one-play touchdown against cover four, we're going after that Y-route. So, we're going to make that same motion. We're going to run from the hash mark, like I was saying. Make that same motion. Bring him in. Put him on a streak. Put the A-route on a drag. The running back, we will block. Although, we really don't have to because this play is going to be going instantly as you're going to see this y route here just gets right outside the cover four cornerback i don't know if i'll hit a one play touchdown with the Vernet. that's the only thing he might not be fast enough but you can see how he gets outside and when i squish this formation up that cover four cornerback comes in and he actually acts like a man on watkins so it gives me that outside release on the safety like i said i'm going to get it with Vernet. i don't need to, to cheat and get it with um get it with anybody else as you can see right here we get that one play touchdown we're going to get it like I said, I don't want to have to change the Marcus Brown, but you can see this is easily a one-play touchdown with the right receiver. Except we got the RPO zone peak. This play right here, I mean, if it's a cover two man or any type of man covers, this B route here is a very good play. That's going to be good. That was actually a cover three. Anything where the cornerback isn't like right in his face. Like this is a cover. This looks like a man coverage or a man blitz. I mean, I could run this. I could run that against a lot of different things. That's a very good play. I could probably throw it to that slant nine times out of ten. Uh, if you have like an opportunity right here up the gut obviously hang the ball off that didn't work out very well right there you could also run the ball um which obviously you know if there's if there's a scenario like right here we had an opportunity anytime i have the formation spread so here it looks like we definitely have an all-out man blitz Go ahead and i'll take that uh, throw right there like i said there's it's really hard to defend this play it's a very good rpo play this year this looks like a cover three this is a perfect opportunity to get it out to my catch and run uh my bubble screen although there it didn't really work out uh, but ultimately that's going to be your best opportunity for that cover threes cover fours this looks like a man coverage uh, as you can see right here i mean like we could just you know we could do this all game and the run play is really secondary compared to some of these i keep getting man coverages though i would like to throw it to this guy there you can see the man coverage actually or the, the man coverage actually got in the way it actually blocked that guy so there's a good opportunity for that against pretty much any defense but ultimately against cover three and cover four the y routes can be best uh if they spread the defense too much the a route the uh the running back's gonna be best and if it's a man coverage or really any zone coverage where he's inside the cornerback the b route's gonna be best Next up, we got the mesh spot. It's cover two zone. We're going to do the exact same thing. Motion this guy up with the B route and streak, although now the RB route is going to be the play. Um, I don't know how good of a receiver I have here, but you can make some explosive plays. You can make some short throws like right there, catch it short of the safety, or you can try to make an explosive play and try to catch it down the field a little bit more. Uh, if it's a man coverage, uh, the drag routes are going to be really good. Uh, but ultimately, like I said, I don't know if this guy is really the best receiving back. And you can see the safety closes. A little bit more speed, a little bit better receiving back. He might be able to get down the field for a one-play touchdown against cover two zone as well. Now, the play I'm going to show you guys is the escape. It really hits a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You can see I called the play 120 times and I averaged 22 yards a play. It's a super explosive play. And the route that the running back is doing is an absolute glitch as well. It's not just going to be the one-play touchdown, but that China route that the running back is doing gets opens against every Every single defense in the game so it has an amazing check down let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side we're going to start off with tampa 2 like we always do and work our way back now when i originally showed this particular play i showed that it can beat a lot of different defenses mostly cover fours but i didn't show and i didn't know at the time that this also beats cover two with no adjustments the b route here you can basically just go right between the two safeties the safety on the left typically pulls apart and reacts to the receiver on the left side i'll show that in the replay as you can see right here this receiver here is basically what's responsible for pulling these safeties apart as he has to react to that and you can see he's just totally out of position so you can basically just throw this right up the middle go and i'll do that again sometimes i mean you don't need any adjustments but sometimes the b route will even get past the safety over the top here but you can see I mean, as long as you have a good enough receiver there's nothing there that's going to stop that when it comes to cover two 
So like I said, that was typically a cover four play. Now it beats multiple defenses. We'll go ahead and we'll pick uh, cover two man because that's very similar. And here you're going to see it's going to have the exact same result. I mean, there's a lot of really good man coverage routes on this, like the running back I love, by the way. That's like a China route. I'm not really sure what they call that. But there is a lot of really good man options. Pretty much every route on this play is a good man option. The tight end is a good man option. The Y route is probably the only one that's not. But you can really hit up a lot of these receivers. But ultimately, you can also hit a one-play touchdown with the exact same receiver that we just did. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Like I said, he's inside that cornerback. The cornerback does not get hands on him. And then you can see he gets right over the top, right over the middle again, and splits the receivers one more time. So a one-play touchdown against cover two man and zone. Go do that one more time just for posterity. Like I said, it's really all about, I mean, I'm bullet and pass leading up in a way, by the way, just in case you guys aren't seeing that. And they're basically just doing, uh, uh, what do they call that, monkey rolls? So that's every cover two play. What about cover three? Let's go ahead and let's pick that next. All I'm gonna do is put the X route on an out route and then smart route at about 10 yards. And then I can block my running back and block my tight end. And this will give me the best opportunity to one play touchdown against this defense. I could also streak the tight end if I feel confident. Uh, that'll give me a little bit more separation when it comes to the crossing receiver. But protection really seems to be the biggest issue. As you can see right here, we get across that formation. We have a very easy crossing one play touchdown against cover three. The reason this works out like that is you can see how this cornerback here reacts to this out route if you can see that just that slight reaction gets him out of position and the out route's open by the way if i wanted to hit that i could do that but you can see that gets him out of position enough that he can't recover to this crossing receiver i mean that's just about as much separation as you're going to get in a cover three in the game right now also has a lot of success against cover one man which is going to look similar pre-snap and we can do pretty much the exact same setup say we're not sure if it's cover three or cover one i mean the china route the the running back is going to be best against pretty much any man coverage. Looks like he's like double team right here. I mean, I love this route, and this is a great route, but you also have the option as a crosser, obviously. So since it looks the same, pre-snap will do the exact same setup. We block our running back. Like I said, that running back, though, is very good against man coverages, and you're going to see how this route here will cross again and get a very easy one play touchdown against cover three, cover one. I mean, it's hitting a home run against just about every defense so far. And then probably the defense that is best against, and I went over this in the original video, is it heavily glitches out cover four. So let's go ahead and let's pick cover four quarters. This play is at its glitchiest when you just run it against cover for quarters because they completely forget to cover this guy. I mean, it's just, this play is so glitchy. He's gone by about 10 yards. And then for some reason, he didn't catch it, which is super weird. But it doesn't really matter because, like I said, this is just, you know, how you going to, you can't run cover four against this. If anybody runs cover four, you're going to glitch it out super easy. I can't even get the ball up in the air enough. I mean, I'm basically just lobbing this up the second he gets about 10, 15 yards down the field. As you can see, for whatever reason, they just forget to cover him. So very easy play against cover four quarters don't run that defense it's not very good unless you're trying to stop the run and then last but not least we have regular cover four which i'll have to go to a dollar formation to do now this play here i'm going to make that same motion like i was saying i make this motion a lot in this formation it should not stand out at all and i'm going to drag both the y route and the x route that's all i really have to do i'm going to block my running back i'm going to put the a route on a streak that's all i have to do and then this b route here is going to be a super explosive one play touchdown against cover four but you have to wait till it crosses the formation as you can see right there the cornerback does not drop back because there's nothing in his area calling him to and the safety basically gets beat inside part of the reason i motion this guy in is because it makes this cornerback i'm not even sure that's cornerback i guess the safety it makes this cornerback basically motion in as well when i motion the, the receiver in the cornerback follows and then he basically just stands in no man's land nothing really engages him and he basically is about you know 15 20 yards behind the other three deep safeties or the other three deep quarter coverage players and then you can see he just is nowhere near uh able to react to this throw so once i get inside of the free safety or the you know the guy that's that's only the only guy that's doing his job you can see that i just had the bullet and pass lead away from him and there's nothing really stopping me so very easy one play touchdown against cover four so i'm just going to go to motion that receiver in again you can see the cornerback follows that's one of the reasons this is so glitchy is because the cornerback does that not a lot of formations do that to the cornerback block my tight end and my running back i don't need the tight end pulling anybody back he's not really serving any purpose i think it'd rather the protection because it takes a while for this receiver to cross and then you can see once he's basically aligned with the safety i just bullet and pass lead to the left and he gets over the cornerback and just won't play touchdown now the red zone scissors is another play i really didn't go over too much it should have a, a very similar success to the first play as far as it has the same route and it'll do a lot of the same things but the running back is a very good man beating route so let's go and let's pick that and we'll pick some man coverages here the running back here will beat just about any man coverage to the edge 
which is something that I think a lot of people know. I have a lot of people running this route on me. Sometimes I'm running man coverage. Uh, it basically gets me out of the man coverage altogether. But you can see the running back here. Um, the China route's a good route, and it's pretty hard to stop. But this particular route is a much more explosive one. So if you have somebody running a lot of man coverages, I mean, pretty much every route on this play will have success. As you can see one more time, and this is the same route that we were just having success against every defense with in the other play. So you can really go in between these two plays and get a very similar effect. It's really a timing throw, and I probably want a better receiving back than what I have. But if you bullet and pass lead once he gets that, you know, into that break and he gets that separation, it's a very big play every single time. Now, this play has a two very good run plays. One is the inside zone, which I went over in the original video. Two is the power read the power read is probably my favorite play if you have a mobile quarterback this is something that is really uh, a play that i just found and fell in love with so let's go let's pick that but let's just continue to go with the random play here so as far as the uh, the running back goes I don't typically hand it off. I typically find it best to keep it with the quarterback there. My center got in the way. But you can see a huge lane opened up right over the middle. I mean, let's just watch the replay here. You can see a lot of times this play here, the running back, usually gets deaded uh, the, second that you, uh, the second that you hike it. But look how much open space we have once I get past this original guy. Like I said, I ran into my center. But look at the space here. There's nothing over the middle of the field. So as long as you have a mobile quarterback, this can, could have been a huge run if I didn't run over Ben Powers. But you can see there's nothing there. So it's really on me for hitting the sprint button too soon but you can see how uh there's a there's nothing but space over the middle of the field when running this play i pretty much just take take my hand off the sticks entirely and just let the blocking set up and then you can see we have a lot of space right over the the middle there once again as we get a very big play you can hand it off but i find it only really works when this defensive end commits or it just gets blocked entirely i don't find that the outside handoff is really the best way to go this is definitely a play that you can take it with the uh the running back but like i said it's really all about the quarterback it's right there i mean i don't know, I accelerate very fast but you can see there's a lot of really good opportunity there like i said the defensive end he basically commits to the quarterback pretty quickly you can see him shoot inside i try to take it outside didn't get the best run but that's going to be probably be the best look when you're going to want to do that very easy play one play touchdown against every Every single defense in the game i'm gonna end the video there though if you guys want to see a full formation a full breakdown of this formation it's totally worth it hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that like i said let me know in the comment section what playbook you guys would like to see me work on next because there's a lot of really good um you know playbooks out there that you know i'm just trying to give you guys what you want so let me know in the comment section what playbooks you want me to focus on other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the Description below. Thank you.